What up, what up, it's your boy KT, and that's all day right here on the spot. Y'all, man, I'm gonna do this quick love. Look at the end up in there, man. Today, my birthday, so just give me a little birthday shout out, man. I appreciate it, you feel me? Got my little nice little cup up in here. That you know, absolute, um, you gotta sit real quick on. Because you know, like, once you get to like 21, you're going to pretty much forget like all the ones after that because you're going to be too damn turned. What do people do on their birthday who don't turn? I want to, well, like, what do they do? Like, they just go out somewhere and just be out there and talk about some, come on, it's my birthday. And everybody just be sitting there bored as hell looking at everybody like, damn, what is the goddamn looking at? What the fuck? Matter of fact, that's how it be when you go places that you really don't want to be. I know that's not happening before. You just go someplace and you just in there and you just chilling, buzzing and talking. You just in there looking at that horse. Like, oh my God, what the fuck? Shit. Man, I'm like, two hours in this mug. It would be like that for you at work. <laughs> That's how you know you got a little problem, right? You at work, you can't even get off work to go in that drink. You just ready to go like shit. But let me tell you all something about me, though, know, man. I ain't used to do this too often, but I did used to go to work slap, man. Not all my jobs. Some of my jobs, I was a little scared. Like, like I remember, like, my first job, I was kind of scared because it was, you know, it was a lot of mechanical stuff and stuff like that going on. So I'm like, oh, nah. I can't get told up in that shit. I was scared to smoke a blunt. I ain't even, mm -hmm. I ain't want no big shit falling on me or some shit. It'd be all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I just, I really was going to work. I was just like a no no. You know what I'm saying? Like over time, it, it, it just, everything was so weird. Seriously, like, have you ever went to work? I had, like, and it was just like a new job. Man, I remember when I was working for this, um, this telephone company, man. I first, and, and you know, I've been there for a little while, you know, I'm used to it. It's normal and whatnot. And then, eventually, I, I had, you know, I smoked with some others up there at the gig and whatnot. And I swear, when I came through that, though, man, it was like a whole new world. It was like a whole new experience. It was just like, whoosh, you know what I'm saying? I opened the door like, whoosh. You see all the people who call and they all looking at slow motion and shit. You like, hey, hey, they like, hey, you feel all fucked up because you like, damn, I wish somebody else was here with me. You the only one that has shit. You looking at everybody else. You like, man, let me go, let me go sit my ass in the corner till my shit come down. <laughs> like, don't you hate, don't you hate when you, it seems like when you have, when you doing something, it seems like you get higher. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me if I'm lying. Like, you could be at home at the crib telling you smoking, you high, you good. You you know, you good. You might not, you know, feel like you that, but let be somewhere you don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? Just be somewhere you, or just be in a situation. So I used to think that you couldn't even blow your drum. You know, I must be like, oh, you blew my hat. Now, we know that could happen, but how many people know how it feels to get that drum blown? <laughs> Tell me that, like seriously. I just want to know, like, how many y'all know, man? Who, who, who y'all know? I know that shit, man. I got my shit blown right here in front of the popo. Motherfucker, popo walked up on me one day. My shit was gone. I thought it could never happen. Like I'm dead ass. Matter of fact, it was one time I got into. Well, it wasn't me driving, but I was with someone else who got into a car accident. You know, it was some crazy shit. We had the last shit to him. And then Muzz was like, right, and I remember when the police came up on us, man, they just got to ask those questions, and my shit just flew right 
out the window. Like, I sobered up. Like, I was like this at first. Like, you know, I was. Police come home. Like, <laughs> I'm barely looking at him. I'm looking at him. I'm like, <laughs> just wait, just wait on for the same stuff. I don't even say nothing. When the police talk, I just let them talk. I don't say shit. They have me like, oh yeah, say all oh, the fuck you wanna say. I ain't saying shit. Some of these people be out here be really trying to argue with the police and shit. I be like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is you arguing with them for? I don't care if you don't like them or not. Shit, I don't argue with the police. Like I said, if I'm even drunk in front of them, my drunk go right out the window. I ain't lying to you. I be in there like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Fuck a breathalyzer. Oh, you want to take a breathalyzer? Shit, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Just all I got to see is y'all ass. <laughs> My shit was gone. And as soon as they walked back out, I was fucked up again, right? So as they left, I'm back out here walking. I'm back fucked up like, damn. It was like a hypnosis. Now, I know a lot of people ain't like that because I know when a lot of people do get around the police, I know it's like the opposite effect. It's like they come around people and they get drunker. You know what I'm saying? They come around you, motherfucker already slapped, then they get around the police, now they 10 times more drunk asking the police questions they shouldn't even be asking. Shit, talking about some, hey, you want to go kick it tonight? Like, what the fuck? This dude got a gun pointing at you. What are you talking about? Do you want to go kick it tonight? I'm about to say, hey, man, you know you. You a good man, man. You a good man, man. Oh, man. So you don't really point that gun at me like that, right? That's what you're gonna do, you know? I thought we was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? I thought you was here for us. What is this about, man? I'm trying to buy you a drink. I'm probably gonna like, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. so shocking to me, man, how people act sometimes. It's so shocking to me how, I swear, it's just like people would be your best friend sometimes when you got money. Like, you ever seen ones? It's like people who got the money be the ones be out there trying to stunt the most sometimes. They be out there, oh, look at me, I'm doing this. I got that. It's all in your face. That's how I feel with mother look at Facebook. It's like every day is all that's in your face. Look at me. Look at me. Like my shit. Love me. This is who I am. Psych. 
This is who I am. Sight, it might be. Oh, oh, then they, they must be on there looking for drama. See, this is why I don't really fuck with this like this, man. You ever notice how people just be all in your business? You know what I'm saying? You got a Facebook page or something, motherfuckers, you don't even know. Motherfuckers, you ain't even seen in 10, 15 years just pull up on you like, hey, man, what's up? You like, you look at this, you look at the message, you look at it, and it's and somebody you ain't even fuck with like that. <laughs> talking about some what's up. There's some people that you basically adore. Talking about some, hey, what's up? I know you. I know you. Don't you hate when people try to use the fact that they so called know you? To gain things from you, like I know darn well you know some people that you really ain't that close with, but they like acquaintances. But just because they're acquaintances, they'll ask you for something. You know, this could be just anybody, just some dude you say what's up to at the food place. He see you, hey man, what's up, man? Hey man, let me hold some, man. Let me get this, man. And you be like, man, I ain't even really got that right there. And then they be like, man, I know you. <laughs> they be like, I know you. I'd be like, damn, how much do you really know me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably don't know. Okay, you may have seen me. I don't know what your equation of knowing is, but I know it's a difference between knowing and seeing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think a lot of people need to figure that out. For real, people be all stalking you, and that's why I can't even deal with that, man. You know what I mean? I would have some stalkers. I am not lying to y'all. If I had a Facebook and all that, man, I would have some serious stalkers on me. Watching, watching, looking, looking. Never talk to you, though. No, no. They <laughs> won't do that, no. But they'll look at you and talk shit about you, though. That's the most weirdest thing to me. Like, you won't call me, but you'll look at me and talk shit about me or assume that you know me. That you know me. Or is it really because you just sing? You know what I'm saying? But what is it? Twelve? I got twelve thirty, man. But yeah, man, gotta do that crap, man. Gotta get up out of here. Cause I uh, got a lot of stuff going on, man. I hope y'all enjoy this. I might do another one tonight when I'm really drunk on my birthday. <laughs> I know I don't do comedy too much, so. I'm just going with it, man. I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm trying to think of a funny story I can tell y'all real quick because I do got a lot of funny stories. Shit, I got too many, man. Too many, but I'm like, uh, some people might get a little offended. Like, oh, no, are you talking about me? Like, no, but it's some funny crap. It's just people I know, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, though. I know one thing, don't ever show off in front of us. I know that, don't be out here trying to show out. Uh, now I'm getting phone calls, now I got to be out. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll be back, make another one, y'all. Yeah.